and click the unbelief page. It is about the sin of unbelief. The sin of unbelief is dangerous and very deceitful and can deceive us for many things. Jesus rejected the Nazareth because of their unbelief, and Jesus did not do more miracles because of their unbelief. They were offended at him. Now he could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. We can grieve the Holy Spirit, the mind of Christ, because of our sin of unbelief. Unbelieving heart, which refuses to cleave to, trust in, and rely on Him, leading you to turn away and desert or stand aloof, separated from the living God. God gave us the measurement of faith, and faith is an action. In order for us to receive God's divine blessings, such as healing, prosperity, etc. We have to believe with prayer and thanksgiving, no matter what the circumstances in our lives. Unbelief is doubt, unstable, and double-minded, and faith is belief. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea of driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man and stable in all his ways. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. The danger of unbelief. Man's sin is unbelief. It can block many divine blessings in our lives. Unbelief can deceive us. It can cause us to think Jesus' power and authority and his word that are not true. Unbelievers, believers, negativeness, belief, unstable, and double-minded hearts is contrary to God and His Word and His will for our lives. It is like Moses' people's unbelief and rebellious hearts to God in the wilderness. Jesus rejected at Nazareth because of their unbelief. Faith is the gift of God. We just have to believe Him, His words, and receive his blessings that are already done for us on the cross. Only believe and by prayer and fasting can help us to get rid of our carnal mindset of unbelief. Renew our mind and not be carnally minded. Unbelief is a carnal mind which is sin. Our carnal mind is not pleasing to God, including our doubt, lack of trust, and unbelief, disbelief. The carnal mind is the mind of the flesh and not of the spirit of Christ. There are many carnally minded things that we are not aware of that it needs prayer for healing and deliverance to free us from sin. For to be carnally minded is death or sin, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. Abraham, he became the father of many nations, and not being weak in faith and the deadness of Sarah's wombs, he did not water, waver, as the promise of God through unbelief, but was straightened in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. And therefore, it was accounted to him for righteousness. No matter how small faith we have, it will grow because whatever trials and circumstances we have in life, we must believe and keep on believing with prayers and worship and never give up in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.